Hey, uh, Mark McDaniel with Tiramisu. Uh, last weekend we were out and uh, the anchor uh, main breaker would not work and that was bad. So I am uh, found why I think the uh, breaker was tripping and I'm going to try to trace the wire to make sure that that was actually the case. This is the wiring diagram of the um, windlass system and the wire that I'm going to trace is this one right here and it goes over to a thermal sensor which is on the case of the motor for the windlass and uh, I'm not sure if that the wire that I see that when I connect it it actually flips the breaker if that wire is actually this wire or not so I don't think it is um, I think that somebody's Mickey Mouse it, but we're going to find out. Breaker is right here. It's underneath the uh, first step of the companionway in the cabin. And um, I've disconnected the um, wire that was causing it to trip, which is down here. It's this little wire right here. And uh, I'm going to put a tracer on it and then go up to the front and see if uh, it actually traces out to the windless area. Okay, I've got my little tracer on and uh, my probe down here hears it. So we'll see if we can go uh, find it over by the windless. More important things when you're doing a project like this is to make sure that you have plenty of beer. So. Beer always seems to make uh, these projects go just a little bit better. Okay, my um, network tone generator is really, really weak. And so, um, although I'm pretty sure this is the correct cable that's up at the windlass, I'm going to run a wire from the main circuit over to the windlass and put an ohm meter on it and see if it's indeed my wire. Um, that's going to prove it one way or the other, so hold on. Okay. So I've put my um, one end of my black wire on my, my mystery wire that causes my breaker to trip when it's connected to the main breaker. And it is going over here and going out the hatch and up to the windlass. Okay, so this is a mess, but I was able to figure out that indeed this uh, this cable right here, this one right here, is the is attached. It's black here, but there's a uh, connector that connects to a white cable up here. And it's right there. And that second cable there, this one here, this one right here, this one is my cable. Because when I put the ohm meter on it and connect it up, there we go, I get. I get 0.2 uh, ohms, which if you get your ohm law calculator out, uh, 0.2 ohms over 12 volts is something like 30 amps, which is more than enough to trip the breaker. So the question is, is why is this thing connected to ground? It's because the thermal, um, the thermal switch, which is right here, has somebody has cut the one off. That cable should be going to this cut off one, and then this one should be going to ground, which it does. But it's not doing anything, and I just found that out. So I think the thermal switch here is bad. And that's probably why they cut it off in the first place. And then when I fixed it, when I R&R'd the uh, windlass, 
um, apparently uh, fixing it um, I did incorrectly and didn't realize that the schematics involved here and hence my breaker issue. So I'm going to remove this thermal sensor right here with my trusty screwdriver which is right here and uh, hopefully I can get a new one. Okay I've removed the thermal sensor and uh, it's just a single screw that holds it against the body of the windlass and it's a switch so normally it's open and when the thermal uh, when the heat gets too high on the chassis of the windlass it closes completes the circuit flips the main breaker and shuts the windlass off so let's see if it's open or close okay well the uh, thermal sensor tested out okay however uh, it's supposed to have two wires on it and not just one and the uh, the little wire you can see there has been uh, clipped off right at the end there. So it's time for a new one of these things. And uh, then we're just going to have to wire it up correctly and we should be good. So that's it uh, for this video. And have a wonderful day.